that where the animals are today. Uh, this is a rotational exhibit, meaning that this is not the lion exhibit and that's not the hyena exhibit. They're just carnivore exhibits. So every time you come here, or maybe even sometimes on the same day, you may see different animals in different exhibits. And that's really great for them because they get to experience new places, they can smell their competitors that were in there the day before. It's a natural way to build in enrichment into our exhibits, so it's a really uh, great design. So today over here is our spotted hyena. Right now there's just one out there, and I'll explain why there's just one out there in a moment. Over here is our bachelor pride of South African lions. This is Raja and Ryan. They are brothers. They are litter mates. Um, and then in our third exhibit, which is if you go out the door around the front, take a right behind those big rocks, we actually have another exhibitor over there. And today our family pride of lions is over there, which includes one male and two females. And then we also have a pack of African wild dogs that are off exhibit and a, another pride of lions, of, of lion cubs, that are off exhibit today as well. So what we're going to be doing today um, is we're going to be bringing in this spotted hyena over here, um, and he is a very nervous male. He's not used to this area because he doesn't normally ever get to come in here. And that's because he lives with a female, a very dominant female, in hyena society, Females are always dominant to males, um, so she always <laughs> gets to choose uh, where, where the food comes and she can run the male off anytime she wants to, so she normally gets to be the one to come in here for a demo. So today we're actually going to try to work with him in getting him in here. Um, so we're going to need your help a little bit for this. Um, if you would like to, if you want to come up front and take a seat up here, you're more than welcome to. Adults, kids, anybody can come right up to the glass. Not, you can sit back there, it's up to you. All right, the other thing we're just gonna need your help with is just keeping your voices down. He's not too hearing sensitive, but if we get too loud and it gets really overwhelming in here, he's gonna get really scared and he's gonna run back out. So as long as we're nice and quiet, he's gonna have a good time. Um, and if you have any questions, just hold them till the end. We'll be up here for a little while and answer all of the questions that you have. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. So whenever Barb is ready to get started, we're going to start working with him. And I will tell you some fun facts about hyena and uh, how we train and work with them. For our two o'clock demonstration, we bring in an animal, we shut them in, and we do some feeding and training. But for Kibo, it's going to be a little different. Like I said, this is pretty new for him. He doesn't normally get to be the one to come in because the female won't ever let him. <laughs> uh, so today, we're going to open the door and we're going to leave it open. We're going to let him choose to come and go as he pleases. Now, if he chooses to come inside, he's going to get rewarded for doing so. And Kibo is going to get rewarded with his diet today. He gets about two and a half pounds of raw meat. This is his daily diet. It is fortified with all the minerals and vitamins that he needs. And it's one of his favorite foods. It's, uh, it's like saying, good job, here's a piece of candy, but for a hyena. Now Kibo weighs about 120 to 130 pounds. And males are actually about 10% smaller than females. Ngozi, the female that is normally with them, weighs about 140 pounds. And that's pretty normal. That allows the females to be dominant in hyena society. Females are also more aggressive. They have more testosterone. They're naturally built to be more aggressive. And males are very skittish and nervous and submissive. As you can see, Kipo's pretty nervous about this. He's not too sure. He's out there looking around to see if that female is out there and if she's going to come in here and trap him. He's not too sure. He thinks we're playing a trick. So this is why we have to be very consistent with Kibo and make sure we never trick him. We have to be very positive every time. If we trick him once, he's going to remember that and never do it again. So everything we do with our animals is positive. We don't do anything negative, we don't trick them, we don't scare them. It has to be up to them whether or not they want to come in and do different things. And 
That's why we may or may not see him in here today. We can only hope. There he is making a little appearance. Now, Kibo is the father to seven hyena cubs that were previously born at the Denver Zoo. They have all grown up and moved on. We've had as many as seven hyena in this clan, but right now we are downsizing. So our clan has gotten somewhat older. That's some fun facts about uh, hyena. A lot of people think they're either a cat or a dog. Well, the truth is, is they're neither. They're not even closely related to cats or dogs. Their closest relatives are uh, actually more like civets or mongoose. Um, they live in a family called hyena day, where uh, there's our, there are spotted hyena, there are striped hyena, there are brown hyena, and argols. They're all in the same family, but their next closest relative would be something like a, a mongoose that you would see right over there in that exhibit across the way. Now, hyena are often, uh, they have a lot of misconceptions. A lot of people think they're stupid, and they're scavengers, and they steal everybody's food, and they're really ugly. That stuff's not true. Hyena are the only carnivores out there that can actually eat all of that stuff. They have one of the strongest jaw strengths of all animals, and they can actually crush and digest bones and antlers and teeth and hooves and hair and every single part of the body. So they're kind of a very efficient predator. Not only that, but when food is hard to find, they will eat just about anything. They'll eat anything from an insect to a fruit. So they're almost omnivores, because uh, almost everything is on their menu. In fact, we have to be really careful here at the zoo about what they get. So sometimes with our lions, we'll give them toys, a big plastic ball that they can play with. And sometimes you may see that out on exhibit. We can't do that with our hyena, because our hyena would eat it. <laughs> they would actually try to eat it because they just think everything is food. So we have to be very, very careful with them and be very creative on how we give them uh, new and novel items. So we'll give them things like antlers and our camels shed their fur every year. So we'll collect the fur and we'll give it to the hyena. We'll give them things like essential oils to smell and spices and colognes and perfumes to smell just to give them different things to check out. And one thing we recently